so I just arrived in Punta Cana, the Dominican Republic and if you are wondering why I'm walking here on the side of the, the road basically it's because I use an app named Eralo I will put the name of course to have a data connection of course but it's not working at all so I'm working toward the center commercial right now and I'm going to buy my SIM card for my phone at the commercial center because I don't want to buy it in the airport of Punta Cana because uh, it's a scam basically so it's better to go to the official shop of Claro that's the name and buy it directly over there but why did I buy a eSIM card that doesn't work? Because my plan was to take an Uber from the airport to the mall and buy the physical one in the mall. Woo! It's super hot, it's about 30 degrees right now. So yeah, let's see. So basically, like uh, I was saying, this is the Blue Mall. So you can search it on Google Maps. It's super easy to find. You can walk. If you don't have data, you can walk from the airport to the Blue Mall. It's about maybe, I will say, around uh, 20 minutes to 25 minutes. It's about 2.5 kilometers. So yeah, 25 minutes, something like that. Um, it's really easy and really fast. And inside you have the, the Claro shop and here you can, you can take it. So, after buying my card, I went directly to, the, to my accommodation here in Punta Cana and this is my room. Very nice, very big. Um, of course, it's not an hotel on the coast of Punta Cana. Uh, I'm maybe like five kilometers away or maybe less, I think but uh, you can take uh, Uber, there is a Uber, it's very popular here, yeah, you can use it a lot and uh, you will pay maybe three, three, four euros maybe to go to the area of the hotels and the, the coast, the beach, so yeah, um, very practical, very nice and uh, yeah, I paid around I think 25 euros a night something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah it was something like 25 euros a night uh, the breakfast is included so very nice and the breakfast is homemade because this is an apartment it's not like a something public it's an apartment and you can rent just the room so very nice uh, today it's raining a little bit but it's, it's really thin so yeah I'm going to have a breakfast and then I'm going to to have a walk I think in the area of the hotels and beach so yeah let's start So this is my neighborhood, I'm staying in Friusa, <laughs> if you are a new traveler I don't recommend this area but I mean yeah it's very local. So first stop of the day will be the beach. I'm going in the direction of an, uh, what the name is, of a restaurant named Captain Cook. and. Uh, the woman at my accommodation, she told me that this is the easiest way to enter the beach and the closest to the um, to the accommodation. So we will have a look. And we just arrived in Punta Cana. So this is the beach, and uh, here we are. In the name is Playa Bavaro. Okay, it's 
it's a bit tricky because it's quite difficult to find the entrance of the beach from the, the road um, yeah you have to pass between shops hotels so it's not the best uh, yeah uh, this looks nice there is a bit of seaweed but uh, that's okay not so much and uh, yeah it's quite nice I need to have a look to I would like a sun lounger so I will see so let me explain to you basically I'm on the beach of Bavaro nearby over there the Captain Cook very important because the Captain Cook uh, looks like it's very famous if people name this place and uh, so there is no like free sun lounger that you can rent because they all uh, belong to the hotels so I was working here for maybe about 30 minutes really and uh, I saw this place and I just asked if I can rent just a sun lounger and she told me we don't rent the sun lounger but you can buy drinks and you have the sun lounger free so that's what I did and uh, yeah you have to be, be careful of that because if you're not part of one of the hotel it could be a bit difficult to find a sun lounger if you want to relax so this is the typical Dominican beer the Presidente this one is light and so we are going to try it Nice, So basically this is the bar and if you want to get out or come in the entrance is by walking in this kind of area and it's a bit weird so yeah it's a bit weird because you don't know exactly where you can where you can walk where it's allowed where it's private where it's public so the um, the host of my accommodation told me that everything is public because I mean the beach but uh, it's quite it's quite weird so if, for example over there there is a gate like you cannot pass there is like a real gate so it's really strange so I'm going back to my accommodation I'm going to take a shower and now I'm going to have a look at the neighborhood the barrio the neighborhood where i'm staying people told me it's not the, the best place to stay but uh, let's have a look 